Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create movie trailer title. Create a new composition, name it as title animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to, 6 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer, this will be our background layer. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Here you can set the background color of your choice. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp. Set ramp scatter to, 500. Perfect. Now let's add the text, this will be our main text layer. For this text, I will be using Iron Man of War font, you can download it from the below link in the description. Now let's increase the font size. Align the text to the center. Perfect. Our main text is ready. Now let's add the subtext. For this subtext, I will be using Montserrat font family, font style to medium. Reduce the font size. Place it above the main text. Perfect. Now for subtext. In animate, select tracking. Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for tracking amount. Now at start of the timeline, depending on your text, increase the tracking amount. You can see the preview. Select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Select both text layers, pre-compose them, name it as text. Now from project panel, add the texture image to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as reflection map. Select Move All Attribute into New Composition. Place this Reflection Composition below the Text Composition. For Reflection Composition, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Text. For Reflection Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the Composition. In Surface, change Bump Map to Text. Change softness to 45. Change height to minus 20. Change displacement to minus 150. In light, change light type to point light. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to text. Change property to, Alpha. 
Change softness to 8. Change cutaway to 3. In light. Change light type to point light. Here you can adjust the light position. I will place it here. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the text composition to the timeline. For text composition, from layer styles. Select bevel and emboss. In bevel and emboss. Change technique to chisel soft. Change depth to 1000%. Change size to 50. Change soften to 5. Change angle to 45 degrees. Change altitude to 75 degrees. Change highlight mode to overlay. Change highlight opacity to 15%. Change shadow opacity to 35%. Now for this text composition, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to text composition, set the fill color as shown. Let's pre-compose this text composition. Name it as Bevel Text. For this composition, change mode to Add. For Bevel Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for Curves. Add it to the composition. Now adjust the curves as shown. Again add the curves. Adjust the second curves as shown. Perfect. From project panel, add the particles media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Add the second particle media file. Change mode to add. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for levels. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for histogram. Now at start of the timeline. Change gamma to 0. You can see the preview. Now select all the layers except background layer. Pre-compose them. Here I will name it as texture text. For this composition. Change mode to add. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for camera lens blur, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for blur radius. Change blur radius to 0. Now at start, change blur radius to 45. Press U to view created keyframes. Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. On the repeat edge pixels. Now again create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change amount of noise to 5%. Perfect, now from project panel, add the smoke one media file to the timeline. Adjust the position of media file. Place it in such a way that it sends at 3 seconds. Press T to bring up opacity, at 3 seconds, create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to 0%, at start, change opacity to 30%. For smoke, change mode to add. Now add the smoke to media file to timeline. For smoke 2, make sure it ends at 6 seconds. 
Press T to bring up opacity, at 6 seconds, create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to, 0%. Now at 1 second, change opacity to, 30%. For smoke 2, change mode to, add. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for field of view. At start. Change field of view to, 80. Select reverse lens distortion. Change orientation to vertical. Here I will slightly adjust the texture composition, move it to near about 25 frames forward. Change it to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null object, press P to bring up position. Now at near about 5 seconds. Create keyframe for position. At 1 second, slightly increase the position value as shown. At start of the timer line, Increase the position value as shown. Now let's see the preview. Select the created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our cinematic movie title is created. Similarly you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.